So today we move on to working with Sculpt Gel. Um, today we move um, on to our next out of kit um, technique. I am feeling better, thank you Craig. Um, so yes, Sculpt, uh, it's all about Sculpt Gel today. So this is the last, the next of the series in the cut series. So um, during the last video I did a cut just with colour down my eye like this and now we're going to create the same with Sculpt Gel. Now, um, Sculpt Gel, it's a clear, well, it can be clear or flesh. Um, addition Cure Silicon comes in um, ABC, ABC, uh, blue, red, green, okay? You mix 50, uh, you mix the same amount of paste from A and B, and then you add C to create, if you want the Sculpt Gel to be more viscous, i.e more moving if you want more time to work with it. Hello Monster Makeup, hello, welcome, fabulous providers of prosthetics. So today we're working with, with Sculpt Gel um, and as I said um, A and B together, 50% of each, they are called Addition Cure Silicons because you put one to the other. Yes, yeah, Sculpt Gel today, Sculpt Gel, next thing. Now for those of you that don't know, Sculpt Gel is great to create onset quick uh, effects such as cuts, bullet wounds, scratches, uh, lacerations, skin trauma, etc. You're not going to be able to do full heads. You're not going to be able to do severed head, dead body. That is when you get three part mold, two part molds, and also you get um, flat molds. Um, our friends Monster Makeup are online at the moment. They provide fantastic uh, flat mold pieces. Um, really lovely. If you are not a molder and you don't know how to sculpt particularly well, then you can buy them from them. Or you can learn how to sculpt, of course. Um, so, Sculpt Gel, on set, really quick, really easy, Addition Cure Silicon A and B. I'm not going to be working with C because I don't want to, I don't want it to, I don't need any more working time. Um, so we're doing cuts, we're doing my, I'm going down the eye. Now the big thing I'll say with Sculpt Gel is you don't want to contaminate the pots. The moment, if you contaminate either or, you're going to ruin the pot and you're going to have to throw it away, okay? So um, so you just have to be very careful. Now you just have to bear with me because I'm having to uh, make sure that everyone knows um, that we are online. Um, and there we go. And then we'll tell everyone and then we are off. Right, okay, so here we go. Louise, Ke oh my God, Louise Kennedy. Hello, fabulous fashion designer, Louise Kennedy from Dublin. Amazing, I've had the pleasure to work with Louise on some campaigns. Welcome, Louise. We're doing some effects today, my darling. No fashion, no fashion. So equal parts of A and B. Um, I'm using some coffee stirrers. You can use orange sticks, you can use spatulas, you can use a spoon and knife, whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna mix quite a healthy amount, okay? And I'm using my takeaway lids. Now what, now, what I now do is, this now gets chucked away and I put my lid back on, which means I know I won't contaminate it. Because that's one of the things you've got to be careful not to contaminate, okay? A, try to get the same amount, you want 50-50. So that's 50-50. And this one you can start mixing because you can start playing around with it. And we put the lid back on, okay? Very important, put the lid back on. What it looks like. So as we mix away, 
This is really, really mixed up, okay? You really want it nice and mixed, okay? We're not going to pre-colour. This time we're not pre-colouring anything. We're going to go all the way down. So you get a healthy amount on your spatula. And then you start sculpting what you want. Get my edges really, really in there. Okay, so you just really, this is about just about starting to sculpt what you're looking for. Now I like sculpture because you can do lots of things with it. Les of Into Makeup Academy, welcome. We're working with Sculptural today. Now, as we said before, when you do a cut, make sure you don't go all the way in. Because you do need to keep something. You need to keep something inside, yeah? It's to, those edges are very important to get those edges really nice and lovely. Because the edge work is what people are going to be looking at you for. It's very important. So the edge work is really, really important for this. Obviously be careful when you're doing the eye. Yeah, just really careful with the eye area. Anyway, it's lovely to be back. It's lovely to be back doing videos. So here we are, having a lovely time. So it will cure quite quickly. Um, And don't be scared of starting to open the cut. But you are going to have to be quite patient because it will take a little while to cure. Hello Kelly Taylor, our fabulous makeup artist. We are working with Sculptor. Hello Exilion. Exilion, those of you, Exilion is running a fantastic pro scheme. If you join the Exilion Pro, you get access to amazing content, including some fantastic talks. Hello Paul Schilling. We're doing a bit of working with Sculptor today. Fifty fifty no softener. As I say to everyone, just keep working on those edges. Really get the edge clean because what you don't want is to see edge marks. That is the mark of a good effects artist and indeed a good prosthetics artist if your edges are seamless.
But this is a fabulous product for those times that you have to create something really quick on set and you don't happen to have a prosthetic handy. Now when you cut in, you don't want to go all the way down and have a gap because when you think about it, the skin doesn't just stop there. It keeps going and going and going. Um, oh my God, it's Thorvald. Thor, fabulous baritone. Hello, Thor. Um, yeah, you've got to be careful. What you need to think about, you've got the epidermis there. If you cut through the epidermis, you have the dermis here and you've got fatty tissue, you've got um, capillaries, etc., blood vessels. Now, if you, hello, Ben Cook, a fantastic stage manager. If you start, just do what a lot of people just do a cut, they go in and they leave a gap and nothing underneath, just colour. You need texture. Makeup is about texture, ladies and gentlemen. Makeup is about texture. So what I'm now doing is I'm now opening the cut. Creating texture. Now, if I had made this very runny, it would have been halfway across my face by now, which is what you don't want. Okay. So now we're creating texture. And really, really be, you know, take your time creating the texture. I'm using a comedon remover. This is what they used to remove blackheads with the press of the against your face and the blackhead pops out. They're really good for texture. When you don't have your sculpting tools or your palettes with you, which or a lot of your palettes, which I've got unfortunately in the studio. So we are having to improvise here. Eleni, Eleni C, fabulous singer. Hello, Eleni. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are working on the next set of cuts, which is all about sculpture. So we're just trying to add some texture. And it's beginning to go now, you can tell. Because the moment you go into it, it, it pulls apart. Which is great, because now we can really start adding the detail we're looking for. Now be careful with the tools near your eyes, okay? Really be careful with what you're doing in the tools, with the tools. Okay, so that now needs to dry. Um, this one's still okay. So why don't I make something on my lip, like a scab, kind of hairpiece. Nice. Bit of nice, bit of lovely. Who doesn't like a bit of a cold sore? Oop. Now, as you know, cold sores are very, very contagious. So we now have to wait. We love a bit of fakery. <laughs> I suffer from cold sores. The moment you have a cold sore, you will always have a cold sore for the rest of your life. Herpes simplex. 
it's a herpes virus and the moment you have it I caught it as a child and you're gonna get them for the rest of your life there's nothing you, there's nothing you can do about them So we now have to wait for it to dry. So um, you can ask me any questions you want to ask me. I'm here to be asked questions. But um, yes, it's been an interesting week. Um, what have I been doing this week? It's been, um, well, I haven't been very well, but um, I've been getting there, we've been getting there. So it's, it's just been a bit of a quiet week. That's why you didn't get any videos this week. Like all of you, I'm waiting for the um, for the lockdown to ease, so we can crack on with life. The one thing I'll say with working with clear sculpture, sometimes it's quite hard to see what you're doing. I will say that. But that's beginning to go so you just have to wait now so yes sculpture let's go let's talk about sculpture so sculpture addition cure silicon a b c red blue green now in this case we're working with red and green sorry red and blue which is 50 50 percent addition cure we're not doing any c because the c is a softener and i don't want to i don't want this to go soft okay i want this to stay quite to cure quite hard, so it cures fast. Um, now, when it comes to working time, you've got about five to 10 minutes, okay? Five to 10 minutes of working time. Hello, Camilla Lewington. You've got about five to 10 minutes for it to cure. That's the kind of working time you're looking at. So, just be aware of that uh, when you're creating what you're creating, that it will, it will go, as you can see, starts going after five to ten minutes it will go depending on your mix this is kind of it's still usable but we're not going to use them because we don't need it now if you want to learn all about sculptural at an advanced level to remember this is for beginners at an advanced level you should check out mr stuart bray's um blogs about sculptural because he is a master of working with as well as being an amazing prosthetics artist He's a master of working with sculpture. We get in there, we get in there. And basically you start cleaning. You, get your, you can get a little, either a disposable wand or a bit of alcohol. And it's the edges we want to clear, yeah? We don't want to see an edge. Because the edge is what will give it away that's not real. So, yes. So, this is one of these things you've got to wait. Like, when we start doing... Uh, we're going to start doing burns this week. And burns will be the same. We're going to use a lot of sculpture. And you will see that, unfortunately, it's just a waiting time. Um... One of the things I really like about sculpture is that you can really go on set and, and create quickly. A director sometimes changes the mind very quickly and you've just got to come up with a solution like that. Okay, you don't have time. I don't know about you, but I'm suffering with terrible lockdown hair. Um, which is why I'm wearing a hat, by the way. Just why I'm wearing a hat. Not quite, but nearly there. Yeah, nearly there. So we can give it a... Um, you can give it a kind of... A sort of waft. Um, the warmer it is, the quicker it would set. So if you want to get yourself a hairdryer, which actually I'm going to do that. Where are my hairdryers? Um... Got 
the hairdryer will help us. So yes, the hello Theo again. The hairdryer will help us um, set it quicker. As I said, five to ten, five to ten minutes working time, depending on room temperature. See that's going, that's going really lovely. So if it's warmer and you want more time to work with it, you would have to add more C to make it more runny, okay? So just to recap, for those to join, these, uh, this is Out of Kid Beginners, uh, working with my Stay At Home Treasure House of Makeup Kit, containing Meron, Ben Nye, a little bit of um, PS, a little bit of Mold Life, and my brushes by Delium. Okay. So how are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah. The lip is not quite there. But the eye is, so let's give it a bit more drying. Really there. Not the lip, but at least the faces, the eyes. So at least we can start working on the eye. So, shall we let's give the eye a, a bit of a powder and see how what it looks like. So now you can see what we got to work with, okay? That's what I've got to work with. Which is fabulous, that's exactly what I wanted. It will be really soft to the touch. Um, so we're gonna start with the inside. I will start with my primary effects palette from Ben Nye. And my IPA, of course. And I will start with a bit of black first. Now the reason for this is I want to get that depth. Not all over, but in certain areas. Okay. We're going to our Ben Nye FX Bruce palette. And we go with Dark Burgundy. Now I am putting I am putting the color in, okay? I'm sort of stippling the color in with a small brush to create texture and depth. And 
and I kind of go, and... you see what I'm doing? Yeah? At the moment, it looks quite painted, but these things take time to build, so you just gotta be patient. And we go back to our we go back to our effects palette basic colors and we go for our primary red Hello, 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 welcome. It's all about sculpture today. For speed and efficiency, I'm kind of I'm working on it, not quite given it the time it needs to cure. But as I said, you've normally got about five to ten minutes curing time. Um, we get our gorgeous. I'll be going with our Meron Paradise Pro Color Ring. Red. She's dropped in the bloody thing. There we go. This is what happens when you drop your tools. There we go. Oh dear. Give it another spray. Would you use what materials would you use for for an SFX makeup? Well, if you're doing out of kit and you've got um, you've got it in your kit, I would do sculpt gel. Now, if you if you want to speed up your curing, don't put C, only A and B, which means you get you it cures between five and ten minutes. Okay. Um, you can also use gelatin. Gelatin is a lovely material as well. Um, if all else fails, as you know, you can use latex if you don't have anything around. But for an outer kit, I would say Sculpt Gel is the best kit, the best material. Depends what you're trying to create. Notice I haven't put any blood on yet. There is no blood. Okay, this is all with color and sculpture. Just a quick casualty. You just I would do a bruise wheel, some blood. If you just want to do kind of bashed about scratches, um, scratches and bruises and maybe lacerations, a bruise wheel, some blood, some blood paste, and your um, a stippling sponge, the grey one with the um, the texture. Keep it nice and simple. So that now by adding the brighter red on top of the darker, I'm really creating that freshness. Can you see?
Yeah, I still have a little bit of uncured silicon down here. Cured. Yes. So now we need to dry this other bit because we we can we're doing some um, cold sauce because I had a bit of. That's what it looks like when it's powdered down and it should be very touch, soft to touch, yeah. I just took a bit away of uncured silicon I didn't like. Remember what I said about cuts, it's got to have an entry that way and an exit, yeah? So this is my, this is my cold saw. Now I will start with a yellow with a cold saw, okay? Gives it, gives it a nice back, backing, nice yellow tinge. You can mix a bit of um, red and yellow. So I'm using my primary palette by Ben Nine. Nice red and yellow. Um, once uh, Craig, once the I once the at the beginning, you can start using IPA and a and a wipe to take out the edges. Once it's cured, you won't be able to break it down. So you can you can take out the edges as it cures, but then the moment it's cured, so after five or ten minutes, once it's gone, it's gone. Which is why you've got to be a little bit careful with speed. So there's my yellow base, very simple yellow base. Unfortunately, it's not. It's not like a. It's not like a paint that you can just break down. A lot of people. Lots of people think you can break down gelatin with witch hazel, but if the gelatin is very thick, it's not going to break down. Okay. So at this time, I'm using my dark burgundy by Ben Nye. And I'm actually pressing the colour in. Because you can see I've already I've already textured the area with the sculpture. So it's actually just about pressing the colour in. And then the the burgundy and the yellow will give you the colour you're looking for, which is that scabby, horrible look. And then you get a bit of a wipe with some alcohol. And you take away some colour. And then you can paint a bit more. And in this at, at this point you can be more oops, at this point you can be more detailed. And I've got a bit of red mixed here. So it just creates that freshness.
And remember, you can build sculpt gel on sculpt gel, so I could now do another layer on top, you see. And again, I get my brush with a bit of alcohol and just break down yeah so what we're doing is actually it's all about it's like a cold saw you see so you got a cut there and a kind of scabby, cold sorry kind of look. It's really versatile. I love this product. And I'm adding a bit of brighter red underneath. To make it look really quite sore. Yeah. And to be honest, so that's that for them. And now we do a little bit of blood. Let's not get overexcited to our cut. So I'm doing quite a bright blood in this one. This is stage blood by Meron. Meron stage blood. The fabulous Gabriella Heath. Gabriella, I hope you're feeling better, darling. Fabulous makeup artist. She's been quite poorly. So. Don't. Over, don't soak, don't sort of cover the whole thing in blood like it's going out of fashion because you don't need to. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad, Gabriella. So that's, my, that's how much blood I'm putting, okay? You know, when it gets to this level and it's kind of begun to set, it's not going to be spurting blood everywhere. You need to think about your morphology and how things, as the cut progresses in age, what this is going to be doing. This will not be spurting unless it's fresh and then you wouldn't get the bruise work around it. So here we go. So we've been sculpt gel, a cut through the eye, as we did the other day, but this is with sculpt gel. And then we used a bit of sculpture left over to do some cold sores, some herpes simplex. Yeah? And as you can see, very versatile product. I love it. I think it's a great product. Um, so it's going to be, that's it for me for today. Please keep watching. I'm so pleased I'm back with you guys. Uh, there'll be some more demos, probably next one on Wednesday, and we're going to start looking at some burns. And we'll keep building and working with Sculptural, okay? Stay, stay safe, and I'll see you this week. Take care. Bye-bye.